Hey guys, I'm getting ready to start up another hydroponic fertilizer experiment in here. I got an organic fertilizer I want to try. The guy sent me uh, real quick. I got the four boxes right here like y'all have seen plenty of times. I filled them up with water, you know, pretty close to what I needed. And I went ahead and put the fertilizer in here. Uh, the first box is going to have the 41838 in it from uh, Master Blend. The second box has the 81536. That's the lettuce formula from uh, Hydro Gardens. The third box is going to have the organic fertilizer in it. And the fourth box down here has the 41838. After I get my fertilizer mixed in real good, I set a styrofoam piece on top, one net pot in place, and take the water hose and begin to top off the nutrient solution. Just adding water to it, bringing it up to about a quarter inch above the bottom of the net pot. And you want to make sure that you check more than just one hole just in case your styrofoam has a little bow in it or your box is not quite level. Just check a few different places around the uh, surface there and make sure your water is evenly distributed. What I'm doing here is the two lettuces, Adriana and the Red Cross. I've got Red Cross, Adriana in these two boxes right here. In the organic box, I'm going to do the same thing. And in the box on the end, I've got some uh, pak choy and some tat soy. They're a little bit more aggressive. Uh, they ought to do just fine growing together. The organic fertilizer that I'm going to use is in this bottle right here. I'm not going to show you the labels on it. It's a very proprietary formula right now. It is bio-oxidized from duckweed. Basically, they take the duckweed and extract the nutrients out of it somehow or other, and that is what they're making the fertilizer out of. This setup right here, I don't think anybody has tried this particular fertilizer on it to see how it would do. It's typically done as a foliar spray, I think. I'm not sure. I'm going to try it at a rate of 2 ounces per gallon. So I've got roughly 28 gallons of water in here. I've got 64 ounces in here. I'm going to put 56 ounces of this fertilizer in this third box right here and set my plants down in there and we're going to see how it goes. Like y'all have seen me do plenty of times before, I've got a 1.5 inch rock wool cube with my seedling in it, a 2 inch net pot. Put this thing down here, make sure it's pushed into the bottom. Just drop it right back in the hole. Today is Monday, December 16th, and it's time to call off the dogs, so to speak. I started this last uh, hydroponic fertilizer experiment on November 1st. It's been about 45 days now. A uh, lot slower growth here in the middle of winter, or headed right into the very shortest days. Um, nighttime temperatures in here have been in the 30s, so uh, didn't get that 30-day lettuce that I've gotten before. Got 45-day lettuce, which is still pretty darn good. But as far as how that liquid organic fertilizer came out, it didn't do so well. The first box that I had the 41838 tomato formula mixed in, it's the same fertilizer I have used for tomatoes, peppers, uh, cucumbers, uh, all my green stuff, my cabbage, broccoli, anything uh, hydroponic is what I've been using it for and does extremely well. I have nothing but 100% confidence in this product I feel like I can grow just about anything with it, maybe just tweaking the formula up or down just a little bit depending on how much I want to give that particular plant. The root systems, like they always do, look extremely good. The second box had the lettuce formula and surprisingly it didn't do quite as well from my perspective as what the tomato formula did. Still looks really, really good. Uh, unless you looked at them real close comparing the first two boxes, you wouldn't see a whole lot of difference. Uh, but I can see the difference there, so I know uh, the tomato formula for me is the one that I want to use. Looking at the end box, it had the tat soy and the, uh, the pak choy in it. That looks really good. The roots look good up under there. Everything looks fine, just a little bit slower growth than what I would normally get uh, if it were warmer in here. Now on the third box, the one that had the organic liquid uh, fertilizer stuff in it, on the bottle it said two ounces per 20 square foot. So I used two ounces per gallon to, uh, to try to test this out and see how it would do. Looking at it, you can see the stuff did not go. The plants look decent color wise. Uh, the roots don't look too bad, but it just did not go. Over the next week, I'm gonna wipe out these beds in here. We'll use some of this lettuce, give most of it away, and clean this stuff out. And I'm going to take off for about six weeks and not do anything in here. Right here in the coldest part of the winter. Uh, I don't have a lot of wood left over, so I'm going to save that for uh, mid-February uh, going into my spring crops. 
what I would do, but people who are interested, I get a lot of people asking me, uh, what do you think about this fertilizer, that fertilizer, would you be willing to try this one? Uh, I have something I want you to try, would you be interested in doing an experiment with it? i tell you what I would do. If you have, I'm not interested in anything in the soil. There are too many variables in the soil. If I use your organic fertilizer in the ground here, I'm going to get one set of results. Somebody else who has a different soil combination is going to get something totally different. There's too many variables there. If you have an organic hydroponic fertilizer that you would like to have uh, tested out or to be able to share it with other people, send me a PM. Uh, I will try it out sometime in uh, mid-February going through there when I start this stuff back up. But here's the thing. It has to be affordable. I don't care if it grows a, a head of lettuce basketball size in 10 days. It's, if it's not affordable, I don't want to mess with it. So if you have a product that you think will work as a standalone fertilizer in a hydroponic setup, send me a PM. I'll test it out. And if it works, I'll be glad to help you get the exposure and get the product out there. If it doesn't work, we'll know we don't want to mess with it. Simple as that. So I hope that was helpful. Y'all take care. Lord willing. I'll see you next time.